What's up guys? Welcome to part two with this mono green Nissa uh, ground shake deck submitted to us by Spino Raptor. Uh, Raptor is one of our awesome people in our Discord community that, uh, that submits decks on a very regular basis for the JDC as well as for this. Really do appreciate the support there, so uh, thank you. And anybody else is welcome to join that community if you would be interested. The link is down below. Do we keep this hand? Uh, this is kind of a weird one. Um... I mean, the good thing is, mm, I'm going to mulligan. I don't think we keep that. Uh, I will keep this. We'll throw one of these sages down to the bottom. Um, I really like that this hand has cultivate. Uh, we needed a little bit more, you know, uh, land drop. I think we will lean on the... Oh, man. This deck has so many just cool things in it. <laughs> uh, looks like Demir Flash, which is definitely a, a problematic deck. Um, thankfully the V2 Ghazi, uh, Awakening of the V2 Ghazi is kind of a useful card here. Um, hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I think Cultivate actually sets us up best, uh, if this doesn't get countered, of course. Uh, this just means that next turn we do have a 5 drop coming down, uh, if we'd like it to, which I think is better than you know playing a evolution sage and then getting no proliferate counters essentially um cool awakening is going to be i think super useful but we'll see we also just have a lot of nissas do we just start throwing nissas out uh i'm gonna say no i'll resolve that Let's Awakening. Uh, no, that doesn't work. That was a mistake. We should have Nissed. I keep doing that. Uh, I did that in the first video as well. I felt kind of silly for doing it, but um, yeah. Let's try it now, though, just because it's the only play we've got. It doesn't work really well. Um, so what I, what I keep doing is I'm like, oh, yeah, this totally untaps the land, but it does not untap the land, uh, which is annoying, um, unfortunately. And they just get to win off of, yeah. All right, that was a quick game. They just had so many flash creatures. Holy crap. Um, fair enough. You got it. Uh, let's move on to game two. That was a bit of a mistake on my end. I should have at least nissed that turn, um, but that's fine. All right. Let's see if we have better luck in game two. Raptor, I'm not doing your deck the best justice, uh, but, you know, we're getting there. Um it's fun to be back playing some games, though. It's been a few days. Uh, I I was on vacation this past weekend, as I mentioned, uh, I think, like, Wednesday of last week. Um, really enjoyed myself. It was so nice to get out and get away. Um, I I think um, I, I stress pretty regularly about things. It resolves, maybe. Um, and so it's really, really nice to be able to kind of get out of Dodge and forget about everything for a little bit. Um, certainly missed you guys, but it was, it was nice to get out of the way. Um, and just let things happen, you know? It's cool. Uh, but I had a fantastic time, got to spend some time with my family and my fiance in the mountains. Uh, beautiful, beautiful area, Flat Rock, North Carolina. If you've not been there, oh my goodness, it is stunning. Um, absolutely stunning had a phenomenal time uh and 100 percent would love to do it again uh leaning on this because we do have the evolution sage by the way um but yeah a great time 100 percent want to go back very very soon uh, it's near Asheville, north carolina if you've not been to Asheville, um that's probably one of my favorite places in the world <laughs> uh it's just such a cool area uh very hipstery but it's really really fun Lots of great people, um, and just a very laid-back vibe, uh, which, you know, I certainly appreciate. So, uh, let's get Evolution Sage in there. <clears throat> um, do we attack? What could they possibly have, I guess? Um, I want to say no attacks. Uh, there, There's probably a world where they've got, like, a Brazen Borrower or something. Okay. Not that that would be a big deal. They just bounce it, but, you know. Uh, next turn, you get to drop forest and then probably just cultivate, um, for a following up of, like, Nyssa. Um, we could also just return of the Wildspeaker and draw a few cards here, but 
I think uh, with the evolution sage on the field, it's great to get this Nissa down so we can start proliferating, um, as well as obviously the stone coil serpent. So that would be phenomenal. Nice. It's a good one. That's a difficult card for us to deal with when they've got this dragon out, I'll be honest. Um, proliferate, submit one. Let's cultivate. Uh, yep. Whoops. Nope. Nope. Do it. Do it. Okay. Um. Hmm. This guarantees that they get to kill something, but I think this is better. That's fine. I don't care about that. Um. Yeah. This just gets rid of Sarkon, which is a really problematic card. Um, we still have a dragon to worry about, um, and we lost our proliferator, but I think that it's worth it to make sure that that's off the battlefield. We don't have a great way. I mean, this does have reach, so we can just block this, but we don't have a great way to deal with flyers in general. Um, and Sarkon just is its own flyer essentially. So, um, maybe I'm being a bit too aggressive as well. I don't know, but we're gonna, we're playing it as is guys. <clears throat> All right, so drop a land, drop Nissa. They may have a counter here. Doesn't look like they do though. That's good. Uh, let's do this. Uh, I think we just attack all here. Um. Oh, they can adapt. <laughs> Duh. They left up that mana. I always forget about uh, Incubation Druid. I'm making all kinds of mistakes as a takeaway, but that's fine. All right. Um, so if they would like, they can kill Nissa next turn, which is actually not the worst thing. We do have a follow-up Nissa. Um, we certainly don't want them to, but like it is what it is. We kind of just need a big smack daddy. We need something major. We need one of our, like, Scourges or something like that. Um, another Stone Coil Serpent would be amazing. Just because it would give us a great way to, like, go over the top with a Trample and Reacher. Um, but it is what it is. Let's do this. Let's do this. And do that. Um, we will attack here. All right. <clears throat> I mean, unfortunately, uh, one thing about this deck is that you do just draw a lot of lands because it has 26, but, um, you know, this deck needs 26, so I actually am okay with that, but it is what it is. Let's see what they can do. Uh, just want to mention also, I mentioned it in the first video, but our, um, our giveaway has started for, oh, very good, for, um, is this elemental? Yeah, it is. That's nice. Uh, our um, our giveaway has started for the Double Masters draft pack. Uh, and so if you're interested in getting a free draft pack, you certainly can. Um, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel and then, of course, uh, uh, comment on any, any video. It doesn't matter which one with hashtag Double Masters. If you do that, you're entered to win. And that's it. Pretty easy. Um, but that is there for you if you are interested. It actually worked out because now we get to keep Nissa. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh. Um. Hmm. Guess we should have done this too, but that's fine. No, cancel. Yeah, let's do this. Um, not 100% sure if that's the correct play, but they can't kill this with uh, Chandra this next turn. They could kill one of these, but now we've got two lethal attackers. Uh, well, three technically. Um, so they've got a lot bigger issues to worry about. 
We also just have Return of the Wild speaker, so at some point we can just, you know, buff up the team. I think that's the right play. Um, we are on a clock here. I mean, it's not a super fast clock, but um, with Chandra out, you always have to worry about it. Ooh, nice. Okay. They can bounce the Scorch. Scorge. You know. Uh, which is pretty good, but uh, not really the worst thing. They could also bounce this... Uh, which would actually be better, I think. Uh, this would come back, I believe, with no counters on it. Yep. Always tap it for mana. Um, and then they could just replay it on the Scourge. That would be kind of sweet, but I guess that's fine. They do have Yorian as well. Okay. Yeah. Yorian is very good. Um, hmm. This dies, yep. So that's better than that they did it this way. That's really good, actually. Um, they get to kill the... They get to kill all of our stuff. Well, that's frustrating. I mean, it is what it is. They got it. Um, that was a great play on my opponent's end, for sure. Another scourge. Um, we could do it for six. Uh, I think we have to do it for six, right? Because this has five on it. So let's do that. Whoops. No, no, no. Wrong. What the heck? We have to do it for five. Okay. I see. I see. All right. Well, let's see what they get. They're gonna do. They still have to ferry up, so they just get to bounce it though. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I think we just lose. I'm gonna go ahead and concede here. Um, they get to bounce this and then deal one that way, or deal two that way, excuse me. And then they've got eleven damage on the field, so we're at essentially like one. Um, that's fine. Let's jump into our last game. Uh, Raptor, I think the deck is very, very fun, but we'll sum up some other thoughts at the very end. Um, <clears throat> I do think, uh, a lot of the issues with this are just my misplaying, so please take that into consideration. Um, this is not just, you know, the deck's fault by any means. Um, yeah, let's keep this. This is a nice little, little hand. Um, we got a lot of early game kind of stuff, which is good depending on what we're up against, obviously. Um, I think where this deck struggles is it doesn't, uh, it does a really good job of putting out very strong threats. Uh, the problem is not necessarily the problem, but I think, uh, the, the shortcoming of the deck is just that there are a lot of decks right now that are able to deal with a really big threat pretty easily. Um, <clears throat> not necessarily like super efficiently for sure. Like there are some, some decks that just don't do super well against it, but, um, a lot of them tend to, so it is what it is. Uh, I think let's get this out there for three. It gives us our attacker next turn, but also with Evolution Sage being able to come down, uh, that should put us in a pretty decent position. Uh, Lucky Clover. Sorry for the frame rates, by the way. This is uh, our last game. We're going to stick through it, but um, let's get that out. Submit. Uh, Grazer out. This is a deck that I generally don't mind going uh, full full tilt on just because uh, they tend to have things that will burn out a lot of our creatures or bounce a lot of our creatures. So the more we can get down quick, uh, the easier time it will be for us. But, you know, that's not always the case. That just tends to be early in the in the game. What? <laughs> uh, don't know really why they gave up that quickly. Um, should we do one more? What time is it? We're at 14 minutes. We'll try one more. I didn't... That was kind of a quick game. Uh, let's do one more. I don't want to cheat you guys out of a, a full video by any means. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Um... Just want to mention again, a huge thank you to Raptor for submitting the deck. If anybody else would like to, Discord's the place to do it. You can do so. We've got channels there for you, so uh, please check that out. Um, 
I'm finding I love the Evolution Sage in some hands and really don't care for it in others. This is kind of one of the others. Um, we do have Cultivate, but we just don't do anything. I'm going to Mulligan. Uh, this is pretty good. I'm going to put Return back, I think. Yeah, this is fine. Nissa, Nissa's Triumph into um, Azusa is really sweet. Do we play this out for one is my question. Oh, hello. I don't think we do. Uh, given that we've got Azusa out, we can get a lot of lands hopefully fairly quickly. Uh, looks like just an aggro deck um, that had a very unlucky start with two Castle Embreaths. <laughs> uh, but sure, that's fine. Let's do this. Let's just do this. Get a couple lands, and we will pass. So next turn, we can drop Azusa, drop a couple lands, um, and then either Nissa's Triumph or Stone Coil Serpent. Um, we'll see what we actually end up doing. But uh, it's the Calamity deck. Ugh, I hate this deck. I hate this deck so much. Um, sure. Take some damage. So we do need to get blockers down for these really quickly. Let's get this, let's get this, let's do this. Let's get Blast Zone out there. Um, it's just a really nice way to deal with a bunch of what they're doing. Um, and then, I don't know. I don't know if we should get this out there. We should have probably just played this and this has triumphed, but um, let's try it. If they've got two shocks, they've got two shocks, but this gives us two blockers. Um, which is like something at least. They can also just start pumping the teams, which is not good. Um, they should just attack here and leave up a castle. But it looks like they're not going to. Okay. Sure. That's interesting. Um, next turn, we just get to blast them for one and get rid of all this stuff. Which is pretty good. Um, we also have Nissa's Triumph, so we'll be able to get a lot of lands out. Yeah, that's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Please give us something X spell. Okay, well, that's not an X spell. Uh, let's do this. Let's sacrifice it, get everything for one out. Um, I think we should do this now just to get rid of their stuff. Nissa's Triumph. Get some lands. And this is Triumph again. Uh, no attacks. All right. They can just play Bone Crusher Giant if they want. Uh, if they've got a shock, they can also just get rid of this. They've got a lot of options here, but we are thinning our deck quite a bit now. Um, so at some point, we should just be able to get something good. That's very good. Um, just get to eat it. Okay, well, that's not very helpful. Um, let's do this. Let's cultivate. Whoops. Deck then even more. <laughs> uh, play land, play land. That's unfortunately all we have got. <laughs> um, and they now get to start ta attacking him with the, uh, the war boss here, which is going to be a problem uh, because it does get mentor. Oh, that was a cool little... This is very rare that I even see these, but that's really cool. Yep. All right. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say no blocks very reluctantly. Oh, come on now. And this is where, unfortunately, I think we just end up losing because we just draw too many lands. I think that's just the downfall of the deck, and that's fine. Every deck has its, its problem spot, and I think that that's one of them. And this definitely kills us, so we'll go ahead and concede here. All right. Uh, Raptor. So to sum up the deck, uh, one, it is very, very fun. Uh, when it works, especially in video one, the first game, if you didn't check out video one, do so. Um, the first game, we really got to see it do its thing, and it was awesome. It was very, very fun. Um, and we've had some luck doing what it's trying to do. But I do think the meta right now is a little bit tricky for it. Um, a lot of decks have just unconditional ways to kill certain things. So 
Uh, if you look at the uh, Yorian deck we were against, they have Banishing Light, for instance. Well, that obviously deals with essentially anything in our deck. Um, there's also a lot of things like, uh, is it Exterminate or Eliminate or whatever it is? It deals with things with converted mana cost three or less. Well, a lot of our big stuff doesn't actually have a high converted mana cost because it's an X spell. And so there's a lot of easy ways for, for people to deal with it. Murderous Rider deals with a lot of our stuff. Granted, there's also the argument that if you can ultimate Nyssa, you make all of your lands indestructible, which is obviously very, very good for this deck. But it's tough to get there, um, especially, you know, against the aggressive decks. Uh, unless you've got a really nice early game start with some grazers and things like that, it's pretty easy for the opponents to just kind of go wider than what we're doing um, and then be able to at least get some damage in. So I do really like this deck. I want this deck to do well. I, I have high hopes for this deck, um, but I just don't know if now is the right time for it or if maybe there's a slightly different configuration that could be, could be happening uh, that might be a little bit better. Now, um, all that to say, Raptor, this deck was really, really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Hopefully anybody else that's wanting to try it can and can maybe comment down below what did they see were the problem areas. Maybe we can find a better way to do it altogether. But um, I know 100% I misplayed quite a lot. So I want to preface it or, or kind of end everything on the on the note that, you know, this could be a very good deck and I just misplayed a lot. <clears throat> I'm getting back in the swing of things, guys. I was, I was on vacation. Um, anyway. I, I really enjoyed it, though. Thank you, Raptor, for the suggestion. I hope everybody enjoyed this gameplay video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Don't forget to give us some suggestions for the JDC as well as other decks to play in our Discord. And, of course, enter that Double Masters giveaway if you are interested. So thank you guys so much. I will see you very, very soon with another gameplay video.